Hi friends and students at American Evangelical University. What a joy to be able to introduce myself to you. And I must say, I'm really looking forward to spending time with many of you in the course called Strategic Leadership and Change. I'm thrilled at the fact that you are approaching the end of your PhD studies and this course is one of the last ones before you really engage in your writing and your research for your dissertation. I pray that God is blessing you richly in what you're doing as well as in your program. And I'm honored to be able to be part of your program and your development as a PhD candidate. So I'm looking forward to spending a few weeks with you via Zoom. I wish we could get together over coffee or meals or in a classroom and have wonderful, robust conversations. I'm Kevin Manoia, and I'm here in San Diego, a pastoral coach at the Rock Church San Diego, kind of a culmination of a career of ministry in the church. And I want you to know that I'm looking forward to sharing anything that I have and anything that I know with you for the goal of helping you become effective leaders. My life has really been in leadership in the church, both at the local level as a church planter and then at a regional level as a supervisor, as a bishop of a denomination, and then leading the evangelical movement in America, all from the framework of a Wesleyan holiness theological foundation, founding the Wesleyan holiness connection, which uh, continues to exist around the world in bringing churches together in unity. That's just a little bit of my life, Dean of Theology at Azusa Pacific and uh, now coaching pastors and continuing to help around the world with universities and churches and various continents. God uh, has been very gracious to me and my family. My uh, wife and I have three children and four grandchildren that we're thoroughly enjoying. I would direct you if you want more information about who I am and uh, who this man is that you're going to be spending some time with, feel free to go to my website, just kevinmanoia.com. And there you can find a full curriculum vita, a bio, you can find various articles and the books and so forth. That's probably the best place. Uh, to refer you rather than me talk about myself. I would say I'm particularly interested in spending time with you around the issue of strategic leadership. I'm convinced that in the life of the church, this is a very important element of effectiveness in expanding the kingdom of God in the 21st century. And of course, these days, the big question is whether strategic leadership really comes from external programs and is evaluated based on outcomes, which most people tend to do. I'd like to urge you to start thinking about strategic leadership as being formed in the inner parts of who God made you to be. You see, strategic doesn't just mean good success. It means that it's applying yourself to the important elements of expanding God's kingdom as a, as, a, as a going, as an apostolic, as a sending, as a growing of the church. And I think that begins in terms of the foundations of who you are as a leader. So we're going to spend some time talking about strategic leadership, navigating change, how your leadership is impacted or uh, by your circumstance and how you impact your circumstances where you are as a growing strategic leader. I'm really looking forward to spending time with you and I pray that God will bless you richly in your current courses and in your ongoing ministry. Until we meet, God bless you. Hey everybody, I'm so privileged and honored to be a part of America Evangelical University. My name is Sam Rockwell and I've been a pastor, I've been a consultant to nonprofit organizations and businesses for years, and I teach at a number of universities. 
I teach organizational development, organizational leadership, organizational behavior, and that sort of thing. And I just want to say that what we're going to learn together are very important principles of, that involve how to lead an organization into change, how to develop an organization over time, and how to uh, make organizations more human and not just mechanical, and how to be a uniquely Christian leader in an organizational environment. So I'm looking very much uh, forward to being with you and spending time with you. We'll see you soon. Hello, my name is uh, J.R. Woodward, and a little bit about myself. I've been a church planter for 25 years, uh, planting churches on the East Coast and the West Coast uh, for the last eight years. I've been the National Director for the V3 Church Planting Movement, where we train church planters, entrepreneurs, and pastors as it relates to uh, uh, planting churches that have a grounded spirituality, a missional theology, and a movement ecclesiology, which is exactly what uh, this course is all about. Uh, it's creating a missional culture, understanding the importance of culture when it comes to shaping our lives as individuals. We'll look at some of the different elements of culture. Uh, we'll get really concrete in what it means to be the church in both a missional and movemental way. And so we'll talk about fivefold intelligence, we'll talk about polycentric leadership. Uh, I would say that there's a lot of fresh ideas that are both old and both, uh, but often too foreign to our current context. So I'm looking forward to spending the next number of weeks with you. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, We'll look forward to this, uh, our first uh, live session as well. So thanks for uh, the opportunity to connect with you. Hi, my name is Eric Denice. I'm the president and founder of Grace at Work Institute and co-program director of Georgetown University's coaching training program. I'm a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I believe that coaching is a great framework for building relationships and making things happen. Proverbs 20 verse 5 says the purposes of a person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight draws them out. I believe this verse gives us insight into the kinds of conversations Joseph and Daniel had with the kings and leaders of the people they served. These are also some of the same kind of conversations that can strengthen our ability to serve God with the people He places in our lives, work, families, and play, and especially in your role as pastor, minister, missionary, or teacher. See, coaching isn't telling other people what to do or counseling to do therapy. It's about the Proverbs 20 verse, developing insight to help others draw out for themselves what is in their heart and soul. And I'm excited to be able to teach you about coaching as it is my life's calling and through it, my ability to develop the gifts and talents God has given me. Our coursework will include reading, short lecturettes, real-time practice and application of the coaching techniques. Among other things we'll be covering in our coursework is what is coaching? What is it? What is it not? What's the paradigm of coaching? How do we deepen our understanding of ourselves as coach? And how do we deepen our understanding and our ability to connect with our clients or our parishioners or the people we serve? In the coaching techniques, we're going to learn about conversational basics, such as listening, asking questions, and direct communication in the framework of good coaching. And finally, we'll understand what it means to help facilitate transformation within our clients or our parishioners 
such as exploring the story, challenging assumptions, and creating a shift. See, everything in life happens by way of a conversation and a relationship. And if we want to change the relationship, we have to change the conversation. And I believe that coaching is one powerful way to help do both. I hope this short introduction excites you about the journey we are about to take. It does me. May God bless, and I look forward to seeing you in the start of the new year. Thank you for your time. Hello, my name is Baronda White. I am a professional certified coach, as well as an instructor. I offer over 22 years of experience in corporate America. I also offer over 13 years of experience in leadership coaching. And more importantly, I offer multiple years of experience of teaching at the college level. I am faculty at Virginia Commonwealth University School of Business Executive Graduate Programs. I'm also faculty at Georgetown University supporting the Leadership Coaching Certification Program. And it's an honor and a privilege to be faculty in this program. During our time together, I'm looking forward to serving your leadership development needs so that you can be in better service to those that you support. During our time together, you will learn about the basics and the art of coaching. We will talk about the skills that are needed in coaching, skills such as listening actively, asking powerful questions that help others to explore within deeply. Also, we will talk about how you can leverage coaching to support the development goals of others. If this sounds interesting to you, I look forward to talking about it in more detail when we start classes. Until then. Hi everyone, my name is Roger Heuser and I'll be team teaching a class with Dr. John Albaugh beginning in February on organizational behavior theory and design. I did my uh, bachelor's degree at Trinity College in Deerfield, Illinois, as well as my seminary training there at Trinity Evangelical Divinity School. These are now part of Trinity International University. Uh, then I pastored for about 12 years in the Chicago area. And during this time, I met a friend who became a mentor to me. And he really introduced me to the whole interplay of leadership, theology, spirituality, um, organizational theory. And I was hooked. I became a lifelong learner. In 1983, Vanguard University invited me to come and join their faculty to begin a new MA program in leadership studies. So I've been there ever since, teaching at different parts, different seminaries, uh, Fuller Theological Seminary and others around different parts of the world. My wife, Gail, had a career in opera. She's now a hospice chaplain and a spiritual director. And I'm really excited about this class. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, Kurt Lewin said that there's nothing as practical as a good theory. And if we don't know a theory, we can't use it. Our reality is so complex, the world is so complex, that we need different frameworks to try to make sense of that. So we're gonna be taking a look at uh, how do organizations function? How, how, what are different theories of trying to understand organizations in this fast moving environment and complex environment? So we're gonna start from the leader's interior life. What does it mean to lead from within? I believe that a healthy spirituality will contribute to authentic, healthy teams and healthy leaders, healthy teams with healthy interior lives can help, it can actually lead to healthy organizations. So we're going to take a look, we're going to look at a variety of theory, theoretical perspectives. We're going to look at spiritual leadership theory, we're going to apply family systems, self-differentiated leadership. We're going to look at open systems theory to say, how, how does a congregation, how does an organization remain true to the timeless kingdom values and the scriptures 
and remain open to the timely opportunities in the environment? How do we make sense of all of that? So I'm, I'm happy to teach with uh, John Albaugh. I'm really excited and anxious to meet you. And I'll see you in February. In the meantime, God bless you. Hello, my name is John Albaugh, and I'll be one of your professors this coming semester. Along with Roger Heuser, I'll be teaching you about organizational behavior, structure, design, etc. And I wanted to take an opportunity to introduce myself to you uh, and my background a little bit. I am currently the Dean of Missional Effectiveness at Vanguard University, and I also teach a little bit in a number of their graduate programs. And my educational background, I have a PhD in organizational leadership, a business degree, but the focus is also in ecclesial leadership, which really fits me, um, who I am. I spent 25 years in the pastoral ministry, and that was my calling in life, and I have a deep passion for that. And then the Lord changed direction uh, about 10 years ago to move towards higher education. And I've had a number of opportunities to be in administration at Vanguard University. And so uh, I, I, I think I love the idea of implementing or integrating uh, organizational concepts into practical dimensions. So there are so many learnings in the field of leadership and organizational studies that really help us understand the organizations that we lead, whether it's the church, which is the most blessed organization, I, I could say very easily, or higher education or any other of the other um, nonprofit entities, uh, how to integrate uh, the best theories in understanding that. And so that's really my, my focus. And it's something that Roger and I uh, really believe strongly in is helping others to figure all of that out. Roger's an amazing man. He is uh, an expert in his field, uh, well-tested and, and just a good-hearted guy. And I am excited to teach with him. My own areas will be in team development. How, how can you be the best leader for a team possible? How can you get the most out of your team and build a healthy, dynamic um, group working together? I will also step into the areas of organizational design and specifically with the, with the, the changing dynamic in the world today, uh, it's so rapidly emerging and how we approach understanding leadership is in organizations has changed from a very mechanistic uh, understanding to a very organ organism focused understanding of the organization. So we'll look at that, uh, how things have changed, how we begin to approach uh, our organization. And then also looking at reframing. How do we uh, see our organization, whether it's a human resources or a political or, uh, or a number of other dimensions that we will frame the type of organization that we work within or lead so that we can better respond to the changing environment around it and the challenges that come up through it. So, and I know it'll just be a wonderful time together. So looking forward to it. Uh, God bless you. Welcome, I'm Neil Cole. I'll be teaching the course for the America Evangelical University Missional Context Analysis and, my, and I will be looking at some of the trends that are currently happening in the world. I'm the author of 15 plus books. 
uh, all looking at different ways of how we can do church today. Um, most well known for organic church or church 3.0 or organic leadership, but my most recent book is what this class will really look at, and that's called Rising Tides. It takes a look at trends that are happening in the world today. The church is helpless to change, that's affecting us, and we don't even know it, that have all an exponential growth curve. And now, during this time, our class is being postponed because of the uh, Corona virus that is spreading and a pandemic everywhere. Because of that, uh, many churches will be closed and some will be closed forever. They'll not survive this time. And there will be others that find out during this time who they really are and come out better because of it. And still others will go right back to where they were as soon as they can. But there will be fewer and fewer of those churches. This crisis will affect us all. Our class will look at these kinds of trends and how we can be better prepared for anything that is to come in the future. And that future is coming at us much faster. I look forward to our time together whenever that will be. God bless and stay well. Welcome uh, to American Evangelical University, AEU. My name is Dr. Kevin Grant. And I'm going to uh, spend a short moment with you introducing myself the course description that I'm going to be teaching at AEU, and then just a short video of a, a mini lecture for you. So let's just start with my background. My name is Dr. Kevin Grant, and I'm a consultant, lecturer, scholar, and author. That's what I do right now. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my background in the past, what I've done. Let's start with my education. I have a BS in uh, Business Administration and Finance, MBA in entrepreneurial finance and a PhD in global leadership and entrepreneurship. I've written a book, it's on Amazon. It's kind of boring, but you might find it interesting. But I like to do storytelling and leadership. I also publish uh, numerous articles and journals. I have two books that I'm currently working on right now. I have a website that you can go to to find some readings and updates on my work. Let's talk a little bit about my work experience. I was a CFO and COO, that's Chief uh, Financial Officer and Chief Operating Officer for Fortune uh, 500 companies. I worked for the second largest computer company in the world out of the UK and ran the North America division. We were bought out by Fujitsu and then uh, I was recruited with one of the richest people in the world, and I was chief of staff for a philanthropist. I've also worked in ministry. I helped build a church from 800 members to 7,500. It's a mega church that's still going on in Orange County. Then I went on to consult and work with small to medium sized firms doing turnarounds, uh, working with strategy and helping them to grow. After that, I uh, went into education. I've been uh, teaching full time and doing adjunct over the last 20 years. Right now I do educational consulting as well as coaching and mentoring uh, business owners and leaders. Some of the schools I've taught at are UCLA, Chapman, Concordia, La Sierra, Westcliff, and right now I'm teaching at AEU, mm -hmm. which is exciting and it's a new school that's uh, up and coming. Some of the courses are in the area of leadership, finance, consulting, strategy, economics, business ethics, organizational behavior, and personal finance. Recently, I was inducted into the Educators International uh, Hall of Fame this past year for my work inside and outside the classroom. And to get in there, someone has to nominate you. So it wasn't like I just jumped in there and put my name in. Um, some interesting uh, areas in my background, just so you guys know, I'm multicultural. I went to uh, the UAE with my dad back in uh, 65, where he started a hospital that still exists. It's 57 years old. Sheikh Zayed from UAE invited us in to change the health of the Middle East. This uh, hospital is still there today. But my dad sent me to boarding school in India and Pakistan, where I uh, went to school two and a half in India, two and a half years in Pakistan. And then I've traveled most of Europe. I just have some quick pictures here. 
It, uh, kind of fun. The gentleman on the left is Sheikh Zayed with Mohammed bin Zayed, who's the Ministry of uh, Defense for Abu Dhabi. I grew up with him. The royal family was born in our hospital. The camel is a, a Tesla. Actually, it's our, it was our automobile. You just fill it up with water and it goes a week with water. The guys on the right are my neighbors. They have guns and knives. They're pretty fun to hang out with. And then in 67, the Arab-Israeli war, we were there when that happened. And this is just a map of the Trucial States before it became the uh, UAE, where I was raised. The picture on the left is a hospital that we started, and it's in the desert. It's 140 degrees, 130 in the shade. And you can see there's no shade, so that's 140 degrees. The uh, picture on the right is the hospital today, six years ago. The Sheikh said that was sacred ground, and he put $350 million into a new facility. They built the building around the existing hospital because it was sacred ground. This is uh, the doctor that recruited my dad. If you go to urgent care, that's what it looks like in Arabia. This is urgent care out in the middle of the desert. This is... Uh, the gentleman in the blue coat I grew up with, his dad was the doctor, and he's a three-star general. He ran the uh, Ministry of Health for North Africa in the UAE. This is Sheikh Zayed having a meeting, and this is how they did it in the middle of the desert where they made uh, deals. And this is Mohammed bin Zayed after a, a terrorist attack in the hospital confronting one of the guys that were hurt. This is my village. These are our neighbors. This is what Abu Dhabi used to look like. It doesn't look like that today. This is Sheikh Zayed, who's now passed away, who started the UAE. And this is his son on the left, Muhammad. That's Muhammad in the middle and my friend on the right. They're doing a movie on the hospital and his parents that started the ministry. And this is a camel race. So uh, those are just some ideas and thoughts about who I am to get to know me better. And I'm going to be teaching a course called uh, Organizational Leadership. And I'm going to show you a mini lecture today. But the course itself is about students learning leadership and management theories. And there's numerous theories, uh, numerous leadership uh, ideas out there, and this class will uh, be able to grab those. Uh, it's also the evolution of leadership and management concepts are going to be explored, and students, yourself, will be able to uh, hone in on your own leadership and management skills and be able to man uh, manage those and measure those impacts that you can make on your own organization. And just so you know, we're going to be looking at mostly uh, ministry capacity, churches and ministries, much like what I've grown up in and understand. Also, I might bring in some of the secular world, but really we're going to be looking at ministry, a ministry scope on leadership. Hello, 저 또한 온라인 사역에 대해서 신학교에서 배운 것도 아니고 또 온라인 목사라는 타이틀을 어디서 들어본 것이 아니기 때문에 굉장히 생소하게 느껴지고 그 온라인 사역에 대한 확신보다는 의문과 의심이 굉장히 많았습니다. 하지만 지난 4년간 온라인 사역을 해오면서 그 의문과 의심은 확신으로 바뀌게 되었고 굉장히 실질적인 방법들과 사역의 열매들을 확인할 수 있었습니다. 그 내용들을 가지고 이번에 미성대학교에서 온라인 사역에 대한 강의와 또 수업을 진행하려고 합니다. 온라인 사역은 지금 현재 잠깐 
어, 비대면 사역으로 인하여서 잠깐 우리가 해결해야 하는 방법이 아니고 앞으로 미래 교회가 나아가야 할 방향이라고 생각합니다. 수많이 그리고 굉장히 빨리 변화되고 있는 이 시대 가운데 변치 않는 하나님의 말씀이 우리를 어떻게 이 시대 가운데 건강한 교회를 이끌어 나아갈 수 있는지 만들어 갈수 있는지 함께 고민하고 연구할 수 있는 시간이 되었으면 좋겠습니다. 많은 관심 가져주시고요. 그럼 첫 번째 시간에서 뵙도록 하겠습니다. 안녕하십니까 저는 한류의 영향으로 한국의 조직이지만 전 세계로 그 영향력이 확장되고 있는 한국 코치협회 이사를 지냈고 또 종교, 종교계 종교 코칭 확산 본부 안에 기독교 코칭센터 초대 센터장을 역임한 바 있는데 지금은 한국 코치협회가 부여하는 코치 자격에 도전할 수 있는 프로그램 과정을 운영하고 있는 홍삼열 교수입니다. 죄 많은 인간이 십자가의 대속으로 구원받아서 더 이상 과거에 묶이지 않고 하나님의 자녀로서의 부르심의 소명을 확인하고 미래를 향해서 담대하게 나아갈 수 있도록 힘을 주시는 그것이 복음의 본질인데 여기에 하나님이 주신 미래의 꿈을 향해 나아가도록 동반자로서 돕는 방법론으로서의 코칭은 그야말로 서로 뗄래야 뗄수 없는 밀접한 관계에 있다고 할수 있겠습니다. 제가 담당한 코칭과 멘토링 심리라고 하는 과목을 통해서 변동성, 불확실성, 복잡성, 모호성을 키워드로 하는 뷰카 시대의 리더들이 직면한 도전들을 지혜롭게 헤쳐나갈 수 있도록 무의식과 패턴 등 나름대로의 정신 역동 모델을 활용할 수 있게 지원을 해 드릴 것이고 교회와 각종 비영리 단체에서의 조직 운영을 가장 현대적인 개념의 코칭 리더십으로 적용할 수 있도록 안내할 것입니다. 철기 시대의 구성원들을 리드하기 위해서는 청동기 시대 패러다임은 개선되어야 하는 것이나 마찬가지 원리입니다. 구글의 회장을 지낸 에릭 슈미트가 실리콘밸리 코치의 전기를 쓸 만큼 코칭은 이 시대 리더들에게 탁월한 리더십을 가능하게 하는 하나님의 선물입니다. 이 과정은 사람끼리 나누는 대화에 머물지 않고 복음을 가진 코치와 클라이언트가 하나님의 임재 안에서 코칭 세션에 들어가서 개인 속에 이미 녹여져 시스템이 된 수많은 경험들 그리고 어제나 오늘이나 항상 성령께서 부어주시는 그 지혜를 통해서 가장 자신의 현장에 최적화된 해답을 발견하도록 훈련하는 내용을 담고 있습니다. 여기에는 코칭 프로세스와 스킬 그리고 코칭 리더십과 정신역동의 이론뿐 아니라 이를 몸에 익히는 실습이 포함되어 있습니다. 이 과정을 이수한 후에는 약간의 실습을 거친 후에 한국코치협회 코치 자격에도 도전할 수 있습니다. 코치 자격은 현재 사역 현장에서 뿐 아니라 은퇴 후까지도 사역을 이어가는데 밑받침이 되리라고 확신합니다. 짧은 소개지만 여러분들이 과정과 과목을 선택하는 데 있어서 작은 도움이 되기를 바라는 마음입니다. 주님의 은혜가 여러분의 가정과 사역 현장에 늘 함께 하시기를 기도합니다. 학기가 시작될 때 다시 뵐수 있기를 바라겠습니다. 감사합니다.